I'm going to be going over the practice atomic calculations worksheet today. So number one says draw four protons in the atom to the right, label them with their charge. So I'm going to use red to draw my protons and it says four. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to label these as protons. And we know that our protons are a positive charge. Then number two says draw five neutrons in the atom to the right and label their charge. So I'm going to draw those as green. And I'm going to label them. We know that neutrons are electrically neutral. So I'm going to put that as a zero. because they have no charge. Then number three says draw four electrons in the atom to the right. Place two on the first energy level and two on the second and label them with their charge. So I'm gonna draw those, I'm gonna draw those as purple. So I've got two in my first energy level and two on my second energy level and we're labeling them with their charge. We know that electrons are electrically negative they have a negative charge. Then number four says, what element did you draw? Well, we know from our notes today that the number of protons is the same as the number of the atomic number, which tells us the electrons, or the electrons and what element it is. So we just drew beryllium. And the way that we know this on number five is the number of protons is the same as the atomic number, which tells us the element. All right, on to number six. It says label the parts of the periodic table notation shown to the right. So that's over here. So this right here, let's see. I can draw an arrow. This right here is going to be my atomic number. Then I have this large N, which we know is our symbol. Remember, that's just the abbreviation for the actual name. And the name is right here. So we have this symbol, the element's name right there. Then down here we have that right there. Let's erase that and do a different color. So down here we have the average atomic mass. Is right here at the bottom. Now remember, mass number is not found on your periodic table. And remember, mass number tells you the number of protons and neutrons. This right here is your average atomic mass. So that's number six. Number seven says, how do you know the number of protons in an atom? Well, we know that by exactly what we talked about before. The number of protons is equal to the atomic number. So this number right here gives us our number of protons. Our number of neutrons, so um, we take the um, mass number, then we subtract the number of protons to get our number of neutrons. So you take your mass number and you subtract the number of protons and that equals the number of neutrons. And then how do you get your electrons? So the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons in an electrically neutral Atom.
So when we have an electrically neutral atom, we, our protons are gonna equal the electrons. Now, it's also the number of electrons is the same as the atomic number, which makes sense, right? Because we've got the number of protons equals the atomic number, and the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons in the electrically neutral atom. So that means the number of uh, the atomic number is going to be the same as the number of electrons. Okay, so going down here, we're just going to fill this in using our periodic table. So we have an atomic number of three. So when we look at our periodic table, we see that the atomic number three is this element Li, which is lithium. Now, the easiest thing to do is to determine our number of protons, which is the same as our atomic number. So our atomic number is three, the same as our protons, and then our electrons are also three. Now, the way to find the neutrons is we take our mass number, then we subtract our number of protons to get our number of neutrons. So I'm actually going to draw that out. So our mass number minus our protons equals our number of neutrons. So 7 minus 3 is 4. So that's going to be our number of neutrons. On the next line, we have P, which is phosphorus. And we can look at our periodic table and see that our atomic number for phosphorus is 15. Then we know the atomic number is the same as the number of protons, and it's the same as the number of electrons. And we solve for our number of neutrons by taking our mass number minus our protons equals our neutrons, so 31 minus 15, and we get 16 is our neutrons. Going to the third line, we see our mass number and our number of protons. Well, we can easily find our number of neutrons because we're going to subtract 35 minus 17, and we get 35 minus 17, and we get 18. Now, remember, our number of protons is the same as our number of electrons. So we have 17 protons, which means we have 17 electrons. And those are also the same as our atomic number, which is 17. Looking at our periodic table, our atomic number is our element. And we find that the element is chlorine, Cl. Going to the next line, we have our atomic number is 28. So that means our number of protons is 28. Our number of electrons is also 28. Now on this one, it's a little bit backwards. We're looking for our mass number. So that means we're going to have to take our number of neutrons and add them to our number of protons, which equals our mass number. So 28 plus 31, and we get 59 as our mass number. Then we look at our atomic number, which is 28. We go find 28 on our periodic table, and it tells us that our element is nickel, N-I. Okay, so now with K, that's potassium, we go to our periodic table, we find K, we see that our atomic number is 19 which also means our number of protons is 19, and our number of electrons is 19. We see that we have mass number and we have protons, so that means we're gonna be subtracting. So we've got 39 minus 19 equals our number of neutrons, and we get 39 minus 19, which is 20. Okay, so I want you to go through and solve for the next one. See if you can do the next one. Pause this video, solve for AG, and then come back to it. All right, so you should see that you have your atomic number is 47 because you have your AG. So you found that, and you found your atomic number is 47, which also tells you that your number of protons is 47, and your number of electrons is also 47. You add these two up, 
because we have our neutrons and our protons. You add these to get your mass number. When we add them together, we get 108. I want you to try to solve for the rest of these. Pause the video, try to solve for it, and then come back and see if you get them correct. You can see I have finished filling in our data table. Please check to make sure that your answers are correct. Notice on hydrogen, it doesn't have any neutrons, so it's going to be a neutrally stable atom. However, when you subtract your mass number minus your number of protons, one minus one is zero. So it's okay if you get a zero as long as you've done it correctly. All right, so make sure that you check these, make sure you have them correct.